Hello and uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, especially recording this video for a subject called sleep. Uh, one of the most favorites of mine and uh, also very important. Uh, I want to say here that sleep is something uh, which is uh, misunderstood widely and it's also responsible for uh, our health, our emotional health, physical health and our relationships and our jobs, everything. Uh, so what about it? Uh, we actually sleep uh, in four cycles, uh, whether it's at night time or if we opt to sleep for a long time during day. So these four cycles, uh, each cycle cons contains about one and a half to two hours. Assuming if it is two hours for young people, then it takes four cycles into two eight hours. Now in each cycle, there are uh, many stages, actually five stages, but broadly speaking, there are two stages. Uh, uh, the, there are two types, the shallow sleep and the deep sleep. Uh, so imagine these four cycles, the initial uh, two to two and a half cycles, ma majority of the sleep is uh, the deep sleep. Although we do have uh, s the shallow sleep also. What is the difference between shallow sleep and a, deuce, and a, and a deep sleep? In the shallow sleep, uh, the brain uh, generally gets repaired and in the deep sleep, our body recovery or repair happens. Now the thing is that uh, initially when we start, it's the shallow sleep uh, for next about 30 minutes or 40 minutes initially, just the very start. When we do not wake up within 40 minutes, the body starts to shut down its major systems, slow them down and tries to cons conserve that energy uh, for body repair. Now after half an hour of our sleep, if we don't wake up, we enter into deep sleep for next about one and a half hour and then after these two hours comes uh, another cycle the next cycle which again starts with a shallow sleep this time the shallow sleep is more than half an hour maybe one hour or maybe 45 minutes depending on people and their age groups now the catch here is that once we have slept for about five or six hours we think that we are we are fresh we are okay our sleep is complete however the last part of the four stages that is last two hours are are actually the full bow maximum shallow sleep cycle so what brain does is that it serves the body in the initial four to five hours by repairing it and it saves the last part of the sleep for its own repair Unfortunately, most of us do not actually reach that last part and um, we think that we're feeling okay. So progressively what happens that the brain, the brain repairs or the brain processes because brain controls the secretion of hormones, neurotransmitters, all the controls of the immune system, skin, hair fall, uh, general health. So everything is being controlled by brain. So if brain is not fully repaired and we daily or chronically enter into this kind of sleeping habits then uh, we be we become emotionally and mentally very weak and unhealthy and no matter how much gym you go and join you will see that it will not affect your personality overall so we must understand this that in continuation eight hours of sleep is a must and uh, the shallow sleep generally the dreams they come in the in the last part or the shallow sleep that's why people say I was dreaming in the morning you dream in the morning because it happens in the shallow sleep or we, we all we also call it REM sleep or rapid eye moment sleep so it's some um, it's imperative that we do fulfill our shallow sleep which is the last a part of the sleep cycle one more thing which i want to highlight here for those people who have shift works that if you have to put an alarm it's better to put an alarm to wake up uh, for a nap either less than 40 minutes or you put the alarm of one hour and 30 minutes or later so that you are naturally getting up into a shallow sleep regimen if you put an alarm for one hour only then you will be in the middle of the deep sleep and your muscles will be kind of being repaired at that time you want to get up you will feel headache and body ache and you will feel even more fatigued the last part is about circadian rhythm and circadian rhythm is that how our body uh, aligns itself with the natural movement of the sun so it's more important that we do the it's for those who, who want to wake up late night remember our mood stabilizing hormones in us are are also there in our skin 
and they are activated by sunlight. And if we opt to keep on sleeping during the half part of the day, which is before noon we are sleeping and then we wake up like three o'clock or something like that so our body is not exposed to enough sunshine and this actually puts people into sad which is called seasonal affective disorder that means we can get into depression more if you're not sleeping uh, at the correct timings so please try to become more disciplined and try to sleep early and wake up early so we are exposed to the correct sunshine timings and it really affects our our health I always say to my clients in my clinic of psychology that unless your physical attributes or disciplines are not right, it will be very tricky and difficult to address your mental, emotional or relationship issues. Thank you for attention.